This is a book talk tutorial of my book, King for a Day. This book, the original title for it was King of the Skies, and the idea for it came when I was in Pakistan. I was there for about three weeks, and at one of the points, it was like in January, and Basant, which is the kite festival in Lahore, it was coming up in the spring. So within a couple of weeks, it was going to be happening. Now, I was on the roof with my father, and my, I looked up way, way high, and I saw two bite, two kites that were kind of circling each other. We were eating oranges on the top of the roof, me and my dad. And I said, what are they doing? What are those two kites doing? And my father said, oh, they're getting ready for the kite festival, for Basant. And he started telling me about it. And the way he spoke, I could tell that this festival had been a big part of his childhood. And then it got me to thinking right there on the roof. I was looking up at these kites and I thought, what, about, what if I wrote a story about a boy who can't walk? His legs don't work, but he can fly. And the original book, King, King of the Skies, the first, the first sentence is, I can't walk and I can't run, but I can fly. Now, when I was redoing the story, King for a Day. So King for a Day, to me, it's a... It's an updated, better version of the story. Um, sometimes, you know, you get a you get to do a do-over, and this was a do-over for me. It made it a better story uh, because, as it was, I thought it was pretty good. But when I wrote King for a Day, there was one incident that happened, and this happened while I was doing school presentations, and I was talking King for, of King of the Skies, and I got to the part in the story where he looks down in the alleyway because he's heard a sound, and I said to the, the children I was, I was telling the story to, I said, well, what do you think he hears? And one boy yelled out, it's the bully. And I thought, oh, why didn't I think of that? Uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes you, you just don't think of things. So I thought, that's actually a better idea. So the bully that appears at the beginning of the story that he fights the kites with ends up at the end of the story. And it just made a whole lot more sense. So what I did was I redid the story. Now, I did a approach one publisher who was interested in it, but they wanted me to take out the aspect of disability, that the boy can't walk. And I thought, you know, to take it out, they said, oh, more kids will be able to identify with it. And I didn't like that, that idea because to me, the whole point of the story is that it's about a disabled boy who can't walk. But he's got this incredible ability because really, I think that we all have abilities and disabilities. You know, just because we can't do one thing doesn't mean we can't do another. Like, like when I was a kid, I could skip like till three four hundred I could skip 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 I can't do that anymore but I can do so many other things that I can't do I couldn't do when I was a kid so to me this is really a story about ability versus disability and that really comes through in the in the whole story within the whole arc of the story the other thing is when I was writing this story I thought you know because I think for every little boy them, and even some of the girls, like, but mostly it's boys, little boys. I want, I wanted a really good story for a little boy, and little boys they want power. Okay, I know this because of my my own son and other little boys that I've observed. They want power, and I thought, okay, but what if you get power? What are you going to do with it? Are you going to use it responsibly? And what kind of if you could be king? What kind of king would you be? So when I was writing this story, I really wanted to show that the boy, his name is Malik. Malik means king. So Malik, he is a king for only one day. He has one day that he really rules because he's so good at fighting with kites. But what kind of king is he? What kind of characteristics and traits does he have? So what I did was in the teacher guide, I really focused on a lot of these characteristics. I mean, he starts with preparation. You know, he prepares. You can tell because of hints that he gives along the way. And this is where you can talk to the students about inference because there's a lot of story 
the whole king for a day is really a slice in Malik's life and it it has it has it has a whole backstory then there's this day of basant and then there's going to be stuff that continues he's going to deal with that bully still how is he going to manage so this is like a slice of his life it's one day in Malik's life so he has prepared and you can tell that he has prepared for a whole year for basant He's worked hard and he gets up early. So he shows a lot of um, work ethic. Now he's got confidence. That's another trait. And he's got confidence because his sister asks him, Malik, you only made one kite? And the kite he, he made is called Falcon because it's got a falcon on it. And he's got confidence because he said thinks, okay, yeah, I only made one kite. But he knows it's a good kite. So he's got the confidence that it'll be enough. Now then there's the teamwork. There is so much teamwork because he, he can't be a king alone. I mean, he's got a disability. So he enlists his brother and his sister to help him. Now, and there's empathy. When the bully calls his sister a bad name, I mean, she yells back, but he can tell that she's hurt inside. So some of the story has a little bit of the old-fashioned notion of chivalry, where he's redeeming her honor, okay? Now she does her own redeeming, too. But, but really, it's all about that as well. Now, there's also strategy. Because the thing is, he plans. He positions his brother downwind to catch the kites that he's going to free. And then he, he keeps his sister close to give him a hand. Now, and he shows skill. Malik is proficient. He's been practicing. He's been studying, thinking of how best to kite, to fight the bully's kite. But he also shows restraint. When he defeats the bully, Okay, he's got to defeat the bully. When he defeats the bully, he doesn't taunt him or call him any further names. He doesn't need to. He just moves on to catching other kites. Now, the, the, and then there's cooperation. Malik is a king who cooperates with his subjects. Okay, if you think of the brother and the sister, they're, as, they're kind of his subjects. Okay, um, so he cooperates with them. And last but not least, there's mercy and justice. Because when he sees the little girl in the alleyway below and the bully is bullying her, he pushes her down and he steals her kite. It's poetic justice that he takes Goliath, that big kite of the bullies, that costs so much. And in fact, what you'll find is on the first spread, in the first page, you will see that there's the bully. I'll just show it to you here. The bully is on the first page. And there's Goliath. Okay, Goliath is on the first page. So he takes that big, beautiful kite and he drops it over the roof and he gives it to the little girl who's been wronged. Okay, so there's justice and there's mercy. So these are things you can discuss with the students more for probably grade two and three. It depends on the, um, the aptitude of the students. But once the kids are a little bit older, you can discuss it with them, the, the, the traits, the qualities that Malik shows. There's so many things that you can do with the book. And I hope you will check out the teacher guide. I'm just about to upload it. Um, I've worked really hard on the teacher guide. And the teacher guide includes all kinds of discussions and activities that you can use with the book, with your class, to enhance the children's understanding, the students' understanding of the book. And even though, yeah, it's the story about Basant, which is the kite festival, it's really a story that I, I hope conveys a lot more depth and will be very useful for the students. Thank you very much.